Hey, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how you can enable SharePoint Alert Me's. So SharePoint Alert Me's are a great way of getting notifications when things are changing on your documents, and you want to be notified about them automatically. This is a default feature that's built into SharePoint Online, um, and every document library automatically has it, but I'm always surprised about uh, when I'm talking to people in training sessions that they're still not aware that this functionality functionality exists even though it's been there for donkey's years so on my sharepoint site let's just say for example i'm going to be working my human resources site um, if i go onto the cog and go to site contents to find my document library for this particular sharepoint site i'm going to go into documents and here are my files and folders which live with inside of this particular sharepoint document library now um, to enable alert means we need to click on the three dots across the top and then we've got this alert me and we've got manage my alerts. So manage my alerts is just something that you can do afterwards where you can come back and edit uh, alerts you've already created or even delete them if you no longer require them. So if I now click on alert me, this is then gonna open up my um, alert me when uh, items are changed form. So this is where we're specifying how we want to get notified and what we want to be notified about specific to this set of documents. So something else I should caveat as well is that this alerts me is set up um, by individuals. You can set them up on other people's behalf, um, but they're only for the documents which live inside of this particular document library. We're not setting this up for something that's going to take effect on every single SharePoint file and fold in every single SharePoint document library in every single SharePoint site it's only this document library that we're looking at okay so the first thing it says is what do you want to call the alert title so you'd give this a name so let's say for example um, and I'll run you through all the other options as well but let's say for example this scenario is I want to get notified when um, something's deleted so say for example in my human resources SharePoint site it's going to be very rare or if at all that documents will be deleted and I don't want to necessarily um, let something get accidentally deleted. Okay, we might have the recycle bin, we might have backup tools which get things back, but that just starts a, a bit of a kind of issue and we'll only notice that it's gone to be able to get it back once someone actually raises a hand and says, uh, hang on, I can't find this particular document inside of human resources, for example. So instead, I want to get automatically notified if someone deletes something so that I can go back and restore it or at least follow up on why that document has been deleted. So I'm going to call this my HR deleted docs. So this is almost like the alert title. This is what I'm going to um, be notified by and, and this is the logic that sits underneath it. I can then send alerts too. So I can, uh, by default, it's got my own name in there, but I can also specify other people if I wanted to. And um, by default, the, the uh, it will be email that I'll be notified by. And this is where we can then specify the change type. So specify the type of changes that you want to be alerted to. So um, it starts off by saying only send me alerts when all changes. So that's if anything changes, something's added, something's deleted, something's modified. Um, but actually, in my scenario, um, I don't want that. I just want items are deleted. But you can see, I can also say new items are added, existing items are modified, or items are deleted. So new items might be, say for example, um, this was more like um, an important document library where things only arrived there if something was, was critical, then I might want it to, uh, to be notified by that by saying new items added. Um, existing items are modified. Again, it might be a policies area where actually I'm not expecting that these, these policies are going to be changed all that often. So if they are modified, I want to be notified. I want to I want to be notified that something has changed. In this scenario, I'm only interested in things which are deleted. So items are deleted, and then I want it to um, notify me. Um, then it's going to say send alerts for these changes. So this is where you can specify whether to filter alerts based on specific criteria. You may also restrict your alerts to only include items that show in a particular view. So you could say send me alerts when anything changes, again, anything anywhere, or someone else changes a document. Someone else changed the document created by me, or someone else changed the document last modified by me. So again, there's a couple of different scenarios that those might play out into, so it's worth having a little think about that. And then we can specify when to send alerts. So this is about specifying how frequently you want to be alerted, um, and it could either be immediately, so send notification immediately, or you might want a daily summary or weekly summary. So say, for example, there was a bit of churn in this document library, um, and there was... a uh, 
a load of modifications going on and actually you just wanted to have a weekly summary to say on friday at i don't know let's say 1 p.m i'm going to spend the afternoon just looking over the changes that have been made inside of the human resources document library but in my scenario because it's something that's quite urgent someone's deleted something that i didn't want them to delete then um, i want it to notify me immediately so now when i click on ok that's actually now set up so my alert me is now set up and in fact if i go into my manage my alerts um you can see i've got my hr deleted documents alert type that's already showing up inside of here so it's ready to go um it just means that once things start getting deleted from inside of my document library um oops i'm inside the wrong document library now click on the cog go to site contents go to documents oh i was in the right one that got a bit confusing. Um, so this is now live, ready to go. So let's just say we'll upload a document. Um, so I've just dragged and dropped in here my how to XYZ PowerPoint. Now all I need to do is select this document, click on delete. It's going to say, sure you want to delete it and send to the recycle bin. I'm going to say, yep. Yeah. That's exactly what I want to do. And then once you delete it, fairly quickly after that, you will then get a uh, email which will come through and tell you that that particular document has been deleted. And it'll come from Human Resources, which is the name of my SharePoint site. No reply at. Um, there you go. There's the one. This is just a dummy one that I did before. Um, and this is the actual email that's come through. So it literally only takes about 60 seconds. And then you should get that email come through to alert you. I hope you found that useful. Um, if you did, please, you know the drill, subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video. If you've got any thoughts, comments, questions, use that comments box below uh, and keep your eyes peeled um, for any future SharePoint related videos.